Hi, my name is Nathan, and today we're going to do a comic book review of Night Stalker, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. Now, before I begin with the review, all I got to say is if you like the content we're throwing up, you know what to do. Like the video and subscribe to this channel. It'll help Rated Comics to make more content like this and also more comic book reviews and comic book related content. Now, I got to say, if you like Spawn, you will definitely dig this and I'll tell you why. The story is about several underlings have fled hell's depths and are now lurking on Earth. Most of them live amongst us as humans, keeping a low profile. Some, on the other hand, have grown so bold that they have started wandering the Earth freely, violating, and occasionally even feasting on humans. Diana, Hell's most feared and renowned assassin, has been dispatched to Earth to kick some ass and warn on the most low and devious monsters that ever fled the depths of the abyss. Her objective, however, is impeded by Hell's continual supervision. They try to fulfill every warrant with the assistance of her alien, Azriel. Each fugitive is tracked, identified, and apprehended before being deported back to Hell. I love this old twist of Hell's bounty hunters. It's gangster. Diana's mission has been marred by turmoil and discontent. Yet, this does not interfere with the real bond she has developed with the angel Michelle. She will become entangled in the nasty politics of light and dark, eventually making a decision that will impact the destiny of civilization. She will trigger an eternal power shift, eternally changing the worlds of good and evil, and pushing mankind to the brink of destruction. When dealing with the powers of light and dark, Diana will realize that nothing is off limits and both sides play for keeps. Nothing is as it appears, and she will be forced to confront her own inner demons in order to become the person she was born to be. Azrael, a shady, gun taunting chain-smoking hellion, he reminds me of like skinny Hellboy, but you know what? This is still sick as her most trusted buddy. Nothing can stand in her path, not even the warriors of light who have already vehemently disagree with her existence on Earth. She must fight the forces of light while also chasing the defectors. It's an awesome storyline. It's a great storyline. If you enjoy Spawn, consider this female protagonist version of Spawn with bounty hunter prowess, bounty hunter gangster, and not to mention, looking at her, man, ain't nothing wrong with the sexy black woman like that. I like my woman the way I like my coffee. Black and hot, baby. Woo! Joking aside, it's not the fact that she's black. It's just an awesome story who the protagonist happens to be black. When you read the narrative, you can see it was compiled from a collection of short stories from the hardback. Each narrative is unique and has no resemblance to the others, which can be refreshing and a unique experience for the reader. As Orlando Hardy, the creator and writer of the comic series, was quoted to have said, the concept of Night Stalker was just an effort to come up with something different and unique into itself. I wanted to create something that have never been done before and something that I hope people People would say that they just had to check out. When the concept was finalized, I bounced it off some people and they said they've never heard of anything even close to it and because of that, they would like to hear more. The comic is loaded with a lot of excellent panels, amazing art, but there are so many times and locations evolved from one quest to another that the plots takes a thorough read to avoid missing any of the interaction. At its core, Night Stalker is a narrative about one woman's desperate desire for independence and her readiness to go to any length to obtain it. Throughout the tale, the fight of light versus dark drives a narrative and keeps the reader intrigued. Night Stalker also received a 2013 Glyph Award for Best Female Character in 2013, which let it shine even brighter in Orlando. Great job with this comic book. I had a hell of a time reading this book. And if you wish to add this comic book to your comic book collection, link in description. Don't be shy and don't be stingy. You'll definitely have a hell of a time reading this. No pun intended, or maybe pun intended. I don't know. I'm just talking off of 20 ounces of Vente caffeine over here. Black and hot, baby. Woo! Jokes aside, Night Stalker, this is an awesome issue that I had. I had a fun time reading it. With that being said, that is the end of the review. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the content we're throwing up, you know what to do. Don't be shy and don't be stingy. Here are rated comics who do awesome comic book reviews, comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaway. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.